So today I'm going to be doing the Ghana tag. I don't know if anyone's heard about it, but I'm a YouTube freak. I'm always on YouTube and there's a tag that's been going on for ages. It's not new and it's called the Ghana tag. So I thought it's fitting for obviously Miss Ghana and everything. Okay, let me just get on with it. Okay, so question number one. Sorry, the questions are on my phone. What part of Ghana are you from? What tribe? Okay, so my dad's from Accra, he's a Ga, and my mum is, well, they originate from Cape Coast, but they now live in Takwadi, and she's a Fanti. So half and half, but yeah, both sides really, but I live with my mum, so obviously, you know, I hear Fanti more, but I understand Fanti fluently, and I understand bits and pieces of Ga, but then that's, that's just me. Okay, number two, were you born in Ghana? No, unfortunately not. I wasn't born in Ghana. I was born here in the UK. Central Middlesex Hospital, Park Royal, Northwest London is where I was born. And question number three, what is your Ghanaian name? Now, my Ghanaian name is Adwa, as I was born on Monday. Monday, the 17th of April. 1989 is the day I came into this world and I share the same birthday with Victoria Beckham in case anybody was. Uh, let's see, what is your favourite Ghanaian dish now? This question is so hard because I love Ghanaian food, like I love everything, literally everything. But if I had to pick a favourite, favourite, favourite... <sighs> I love fufu and light soup. Mm. I love it. I love spinach stew, kontomre. I love okra soup, okra stew, wache. I cannot choose, but I guess when I come home and mama's cooked spinach stew, I'm like, hey, spinach stew. So, okay, for now, I'll say it's spinach stew. Um, show some Ghanaian clothing that you own. Okay, I do own some, but. I should have read the questions first. I don't have it to hand, but I have like caban slit. I have those nice maxi dresses that they sell in Osu. I have quite a few pieces because I love the African print. I just think it's so beautiful and bold and rich. So I have a few pieces. Maybe in another video I'll show it, but I don't have them to hand. Sorry. Okay. Oh, what do you have in your home that's from Ghana? I really, really should have read this first, but again, I do have things in my home from Ghana, but um, I don't have them to hand. Again. Um, do you speak a Ghanaian language? Okay, this is so embarrassing. But. I don't. Like I said earlier, I understand Fanti, I understand Tree, I understand bits of Ga, but I don't speak it. But to be honest, I've been trying because I have my little boy and I want him to understand and know the language. So every now and then I'll say, you know, Ji or Bra, you know, little things here and there and try to pick it up because I understand it fluently. But to speak it, it's in my brain, and then when I bring it down to my mouth, because the accent isn't really there, it just sounds a bit off. So, yeah. But I'm planning on moving to Ghana very soon. You know, my son's little. By the time he's grown up, he'll know the language, and I'll know the language too, because I love the language. The language is beautiful, and I'm proud of it, and I'm embarrassed when everyone around me is speaking, then it comes to me, somebody says to me, et cetera, and then I'm just like, I'm fine yeah so yeah i'll learn um when was the last time you visited ghana i am a ghana fiend hey i love ghana whenever i get the opportunity i'm there so luckily the last time i was there was easter april may this year 2012 I went to Ghana, I waited for my son to be old enough, he was 6 months at the time, he's 10 months now but he was 6 months at the time, I wanted to make sure he was old enough, had his jabs, it was safe, everything was cool, as soon as they said yeah he's good, we were on the plane straight there, 
for Easter and it was lovely my whole family my mom my brother my sisters my cousins from France America everybody was there and it was just banging I loved it so hopefully I can go again this Christmas fingers crossed I'll be there this Christmas chill out okay last question who is your favorite Ghanaian artist let me think they're all kind of good now like Ghanaian music is bumping like seriously I love it all but if I had to say my favorites okay I love Sarkozy like that goes without saying he's just amazing and I'm so glad that he's getting recognized now because he deserves it he's great I love Athea I love that whole kind of near soul Jill Scott kind of vibe that she's going on I love her. I love Kwabna Kwabna. Who else do I like? I like them all. Tiffany. Um. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Before I forget, the new girl group called D3. They're new. Afrobeats, you know, they're from Ghana. Three girls. I know them. Their music. Like I'm gonna put their video up. You need to see it. They're amazing, and that that's a that's a track that I've been listening to non-stop. So yeah, D3, they're my favourites at the moment. So yeah, I think that's all the questions. I like talking. I wanna say more, but I won't. But yeah, remember to support me, Yasmin Botchway, contestant number three, Miss Ghana UK 2012, 22nd September at the Troxy. Be there, be square, be there, or be square. Get tickets, come and support my Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Yaz number two win M G U K 12. My YouTube, Yaz to win NGUK12 again. My Twitter, I love you Nye, which is I L O V U I L O V E U N Y. I'm on Twitter all the time. My Instagram, oh my gosh, what's my Instagram? I'll I'll write it at the bottom, but I'm on Instagram all the time. So rubbish. I'm on Instagram all the time. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll go now because I'm seeing seven minutes and yeah. But I'll be back with another video. Everyone have a lovely day. Enjoy the weather and I'll see you soon. Mwah.